Listening to Retro Rewind with Dave Harris. One on one on one. Retro Rewind. Obviously, my own uh, life uh, other than show business. I have four beautiful daughters, all girls. I have racehorses, and uh, you know, I have a um, a life that um, is quite normal. I'm on the darts team at the local pub. Um, I like to and, and how good are you? I'm pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah, you'd be quite, quite surprised because, you know, I mean, a lot of guys have to shoot down or I have to shoot straight up, you know, like that. So it's like right into my eye. I've written a couple of children's stories that I go to the local library in my little town and hopefully, uh, you know, the kids are impressed by some of those little tales that, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm very uh, interested in... Um, um, a project that I've been working on for a number of years now in my town called Beaver Town, Pennsylvania. I like the name, so I bought the place. So I have a nice home there. And also I have a, a church, which I've converted into a memorabilia museum and a children's theater. So that's something I've worked on for many years, and that's going to come to fruition by next... Um, um, spring and into the summer and hopefully the first production will you know be taking place and the memorabilia museum will be opening and I've got stuff from you know from uh, many many different artists and monkeys and just local information and other collectors in the neighborhood you know that have been into um, uh, um, you know different um, um, things that are of interest to me. I have my neighbor's got a collection as big as this room with all antique cars and little, you know, first edition cars. And that would be nice to say, you know, Jim Straub, his uh, car collection. And then the next month, maybe have some paintings from Graham Nash. Right. Or maybe yeah. get, uh, you know, different, um, you know, maybe I'll be able to. You know, sort of get some, some, um, some, you know, guitars, or maybe even people come to, you know, build it and they will come. That's right. my theory. Right. So be safe, buy local. You know, and it, you were talking about children earlier. I brought my children today because uh, they are huge. There was no way I was going to be able to come here and not uh -oh. not bring them because they they uh, are big fans of yours. Why do you feel that, or why do you think I should say uh, that children and and kids? Um, are um, you know drawn to you and and the things that you've done with with your career uh, and, and staying power but why do you think it's still I mean, here it is 40 45 years later well there again the staying power you know I mean I get it from the girls at the airport and the personnel when I come into Harrisburg or West Palm Beach or wherever it is and everyone knows me hi Davey how you doing what are you doing how's the horses where well, are you gonna be singing here soon you know things like that and then I get people, you know, are you, uh, did you used to be, you know who you are, and you know, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, I try to be, you know, sort of unknown and anonymous. As soon as the curtain comes down, I become this middle-aged man with responsibilities and recreational outlets that everybody else has. So I think it's because I'm approachable. As far as the kids are concerned, I'm not threatening, I'm not a... A bearded monster, you know. I'm not a um, unapproachable person, and I think the um, the hum humanity and the humility. The, although they say humility breeds contempt, you've got to humble yourself sometimes to situations. And if somebody mentions the monkeys to me, I, I say, "Yeah, right. That was a great time. I'd have fun." Where's Mickey, Mike, and Peter? You know, I'll make a joke, say, "Oh, they're in the actors' home in Hollywood." You know, <laughs> I went to see them before I left, and I said, "Do you know who I am?" And Peter said, ask the nurse, she'll tell you, you know, so I, I make fun of that whole situation and I love the monkey's memories that people have um, and share with me all the time. So the little children, you know, they watched when I uh, grew up, um, or didn't grow up as the case may be, in, in, a, in, a, in a television world, I mean, I was watching The Farmer's Daughter, and I was watching um, um, The F Troop, and I was watching, you know, um, Hogan's Heroes, and The Farmer's Daughter, you know, and The Partridge Family, and The Brady Bunch, and all those kinds of shows. Well, I'm not quite sure how many of those shows are around anymore, except when you watch uh, Nickelodeon or you watch one of those other television stations that show these things. So there are children, uh, um, families that are alive and well and living in America. And we get all this sort of news that is not necessarily good news. But there's so many good things happening in America. 
and families that are alive and well in in Ohio and and, and Nebraska and, and and in Maryland and Virginia and it's not necessarily no disrespect to New York or Los Angeles or Chicago or Cincinnati or Cleveland not the major big cities that all seem to get the publicity in the press about you know job losses or about um, um, you know unrest and 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 com confrontations but there's so many good things happening and there's so many good people taking care of a lot of things in this country and I think the kids that see the monkeys or see the, the you know the the shows that they like you know the sort of I'm not a big fan of things like Married with Children or or The Simpsons or anything that is is it you know sort of I was never a big fan of cartoons because I, I didn't particularly like I, I, the the violence if you look right. you know I, sorry I, you know the the Three Stooges yeah. you know I knew that wasn't true because if you poked your finger in your eye you wouldn't yeah. see again so right. all that fun stuff Mickham you know I like um, I like uh, Abbott and Costello and I liked um, the you know the Dead End Kids and I like uh, the Marx Brothers and I like that sort of storyline stuff and the Monkeys was on that line right. and I think the Monkeys will be around for 50 years from now on and and hopefully we'll be rerun and kids will be able to identify with that and there are plenty of things for them to do you know you've got Hannah Montana and all this kind of stuff and all these different shows but I find they're a little too explicit and too adult in my way of thinking for my grandchildren and for my you know sort of uh, for the younger people in my life and I, I'd rather keep it clean and 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 you know and and, and, and family oriented so hey you know, we were never controversial as the monkeys. We were told not to talk about drugs, not to talk about politics, not to talk about, you know, um, certain things that were, you know, influencing. Uh, you know, when you become a celebrity, um, and there's a lot of, like, celebrities around now. They're not stars, but they're celebrities. You become more attractive. You become more articulate. You become better looking. You become all these things that you're not. So, therefore, you're not always able to handle this success. You see what happens with ball players. You know, one guy's just asked for 160 million over the next six years or something. Of, uh, insane. Um, and just because you're a, you know, uh, you know, you can bend it like Beckham doesn't mean you've got any brains you know it doesn't mean that you've got um, you know ball players of uh, you know I mean it's like football football's a thugs game played by gentlemen and baseball's a gentleman's game played by thugs you know that are overpaid and and all pumped up and now they're talking about stimulants and other things well I wouldn't want to endorse the fact that yeah in the 60s we smoked a little bit of pot and we did all these things but thank goodness we didn't get into the things that destroy people's lives you know Jimi Hendrix was our opening act when we first started with the monkeys Ike and Tina Turner we had you know um, lots of you know the fifth dimension we had lots of great people come through our lives as the monkeys but I can't say that I have a great respect for you know Janis Joplin or Kurt Cobain or or Tim Buckley or even Jimi Hendrix who was a dear friend because I say tongue and cheap cheek flippantly what would they be doing now shaking hands outside Caesar's palace welcoming people or would they be able to sustain a career that's not the point the point is you got to touch people and when you touch people in America you do it for life because once you become a success in America people recognize that success and they uh, uh, revere it so you've got to be very careful of how you treat yourself and how you treat other people you have to think from the end because everything you do affects somebody else happiness there's no way to happiness happiness is the way change the way you look at things because the things you look at will change so if you've been down and you've been way way down and life is like a fishbowl you get a success and you get to the top of the mountain I've been to the top of the mountain and I've seen what's going on there and then I you slide down a little bit and you handle yourself somewhere on the slope so that there's always room for dreams and you really don't want to go down there and get your feet wet again but you yeah. want to just be comfortable so stay in that medium of, of, of comfort the comfort zone find that comfort zone never give up your dreams never give up your youth Retro Rewind with Dave Harris.